Spider-Man. He can swing using a spider web and shoot out webbings to trap villains. Spider-Man has even used his webbings to make shapes like parachutes, shields, and skis. In this video, we'll explore the chemistry behind Spider-Man's favorite weapon, the spider web. Also, only a small percentage of people that watch my videos are actually subscribed. So if you end up liking this video, consider subscribing. It's free and you can always change your mind in the future. Enjoy the video! Spider webs are made from different types of silk. The spokes of the web are made from what's called the dragline silk. Dragline silk is strong and stretchy, which is perfect for making the main support for the web and safety lines for the spider. The rest of the web is made from flax silk, which is less strong but more elastic. Flax silk is good for absorbing the shock when, for example, a big fly smashes into the web. So how strong is spider web? To find out, let's compare the tensile strength of spider silk and steel. Tensile strength is the maximum stress that a material can withstand before breaking. Dragline silk, which is the strongest spider silk, has a tensile strength about 1.1 gigapascal or GPA. GPA is a unit of measuring force per unit area. Steel has a tensile strength of about 1.7 GPA. So we can say that the tensile strength of steel is slightly higher than that of spider silk. However, steel is about six times more dense material than spider silk. So on a pound for pound basis, Spider silk is about five times stronger than steel. Wow! How is that possible? Well, microscopic images of spider silk show that each strand, which is 20 times thinner than a human hair, is actually made up of thousands of nanostrands. And each nanostrand has a diameter of only 20 nanometers. So if we scale up the spider web to human size, the dragline silk would support an adult like Spider-Man. Also, real dragline silk would not need to be as thick as the ones deployed by Spider-Man in the movies. Spider-Man movies drastically underestimated the strength of spider silk. Wait a minute, if spider silk is stronger than steel, why does it break so easily? The answer is simple. Spider silk breaks easily because it's really thin. A thread in the web of a garden spider, for example, is just 0.003 millimeters in diameter. How does a spider produce spider silk? Spiders have many silk glands. Dragline silk is produced in the major ampullate gland. This gland is the longest and most complex gland of all spiders. So much so that it can be subdivided visibly into a sac, tail, and a duct region. The proteins that make the silk, called spidroins, are secreted into the tail and stored in the sac as a concentrated liquid crystalline solution, called dope. dope. If you want to find out more about liquid crystal, you can watch my previous video called Liquid Crystal. Click the link above, please. The dope forms a gel and flows further through the duct, which becomes very narrow. Now this narrowing of the duct creates sheer stress on the dope, which results in further folding and modification of the dope. The dope is then pulled through the spinnerets. Each spinneret has several spigots, which are mobile, finger-like protrusions. When silk is needed, tiny valves behind each spigot opens up and the silk is released. So there is no squirting webs like Spider-Man movies. Many silk strands from spigots are bound together like a cable. It then dehydrates and forms a solid fiber. The diameter of a single fiber can be controlled by the valve. The faster and tighter the strand is drawn, the stronger the silk. If the spider web is such a strong material, why don't we harvest spider silk to turn into fabric? Well, unlike silkworms, harvesting silk directly from spiders is not a commercially viable option. Spiders need vast amounts of space for their webs, and individual spiders do not produce high quantities of silk. Moreover, spiders tend to eat each other. Ouch! A fun fact about spider webs. Spider webs lose their stickiness after about a day due to dust accumulation and exposure to air. 
spiders actually eat its own web before making a new one so that the silk protein can be recycled. How efficient! That's it for today. Thank you for watching.